Right, at quarter past, just after quarter past six, let's take a look at the uh, front pages of today's papers for you. The Daily Mirror leads on the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak being issued with a fixed penalty notice by the police after he posted a video clip of him being driven without wearing a seatbelt. That was on a visit to Lancashire on Thursday. Now, the Times leads on the former Health Secretary, Sajid Javid, saying that charging for GP appointments and A&E could help the NHS with its crisis. Germany's refusal to send tanks to Ukraine makes the front, of the front page of The Telegraph. World leaders from 50 nations, including Britain, were talking yesterday to try to convince the country's new defence minister. And finally, The Guardian leads on those claims that Nadim Zahawi, the Conservative Party chairman, has agreed to pay a penalty to His Majesty's Revenue and Customs as part of a seven-figure settlement over his tax affairs. Mr Zahawi has not responded to those claims. How long have you been, do How long have you been a journalist? Uh, 29 years. OK. I started as a very young child. Well, I, <laughs> would you mind me asking when you started? Yeah, 23, I think. Something. Oh, you were old. Yeah. Because, and the only reason I say that, when you started, is, you know, like, this job is the best job in the world, in my opinion. Yes. Um, and um, every, I don't know anyone who, if you're a journalist, who wouldn't want this job. Yes. I'm always very, very grateful Absolutely. to have this yeah, job. Yeah, of course we are, right? Doing what we do. We do what we love. Okay. Um, imagine starting out when you're 16. OK. Wow. So there are always people snapping at your heels, rightly so. Um, I'm going to introduce you to the youngest, thought to be the UK's youngest newsreader. Wow. 16 years old. Don't His think name my voice is. Remember, no. <laughs> remember this name, Josh Tate from Ufcombe in Devon. Um, he began work experience at Radio X last August, right? Thinking he'd learn some new skills. Yeah. But because his voice. So it's good. obviously so unctuous. It's so lovely. It's this, you know, this resonant voice. They, the bosses thought he'd be a great addition yeah. to the lineup, right? So oh, he man. has been compiling and reading the sports bulletins. He started it with, with Index. He is a, a, a student of journalism, and he's now a regular. So he's um, yeah, obviously covering the Exeter Chiefs in rugby, Exeter City football games. Um, he's joined the headline, the breakfast show to read the headlines a couple of mornings a week. Well done, Josh. And the boss says, the programme manager says, in radio, just about everything starts with voice quality. Yeah. Um, but to come across someone who's so young, who doesn't just have an authoritative range, but also the determination and graft to progress is rare. So, yeah, 16 well, well done, years Josh. Old well, well done. Don't get too good too quickly. Yeah, exactly. I've got to get to retirement. Um, <laughs> the, he, Josh might well have no problem with these this diction affliction, words we can't pronounce. This, this story was around, I think, a little bit yesterday, but uh, there are all sorts of words on there, and it's all because um, the, the South Korean, the car firm, I always pronounce it Hyundai. Hyundai. Well, apparently, let I me mean, read it. Everyone says it's Hyundai, but it's not. It's Hyundai. 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 Um, but there's loads of words on here. So well, we the would... thing is, though, you can't have the words. You can't say the words without saying. You can't show the words. You've got to say the words, Roger. Well, and that's <laughs> we we were talking about defibrillators a while ago. That's and a And I word, used to really it? struggle with defibrillators, but there are words on here like quinoa, uh, affidavit. That's all right. You're doing. Or, right. No, I got that wrong. It's it's affidavit. Yes. Uh, zoology. Anyway, tenterhooks. lots of words. That's the one, tenterhooks, because people say tenderhooks, don't they? Yeah. And it's tenterhooks. Yeah. Caché, coup de gras, zoology, parliament, foyer, mischievous, Antarctic, Arctic. If you're all on tenderhooks, or tenterhooks, Tenter. to know more, uh, that's in the uh, mail today. So there you go.